Hi, I'm Stephen. As you know, AI technology has been increasingly popular lately, especially the AI chatbot ChatGPT from OpenAI. Today, we are going to explore the AI for coding, GitHub Copilot. Most of you may already know what it is, but did you know the new feature in the preview version? Let's check it out. The preview version is named GitHub Copilot Labs. You can go to the website and simply apply. There's no waiting list, but you will need to first subscribe to the main product, GitHub Copilot. To install it, switch back to VS Code and search for GitHub Copilot Labs in the marketplace. After enabling it, you will find a new icon on the sidebar. The first feature we are going to check out is Explain, which allows you to highlight a block of code and ask the AI to explain what it does. It is very useful when you are learning code from other developers. The next feature is language translation. It enables us to convert a block of code to another programming language. Although it may not always be correct, it can give us a structure of the target language and save us some time. And brushes is a big library, providing a lot of handy functions. For example, highlights a block of code that the main purpose is connecting to the WebSocket and receives messages. Then click the debug button. It adds the necessary debug output to our code, which we will always do when we are debugging. Another feature is Make Robust. It is very powerful and it strengthens your code, like data format checking and error handling. It's awesome that it recognizes that I'm shortening an Ethereum address here, which is 42 characters long. And like the number formatting function, it will just add the necessary checking logic into it. The list steps function helps you to write comments line by line. Now, let's check out another incredible feature. There's a custom function on the list, which allows you to tell the AI directly what you want to do. I'm highlighting all the state variable here and telling the AI to rewrite it using use reducer. As you can see, it's like magic. The chunk function helps you break down your code. It helps me to separate the logic of doing the roundup of the number. And for sure, the round price function doesn't exist yet. So I open a new line, and Copilot knows what I want to add. I just finished the function with its prompts. If you want to write a document for this function, just click the document button, and you are done. Let's create a new document, declare some variables with messy names, highlight them, and click the readable button. I think it will just imply the names from the values. Copala is assuming we will add a function after that. Okay, a function for getting the full name looks good. Let's do it. How about making it robust again? We can expect what it will do. Lastly, add a function to fetch some dummy API data. Strengthen the code. And what if I don't want to use the native fetch function? But Axios instead, just click the custom button and ask the AI to do so. It looks really nice. Again, what if I don't want to use async await, but dot then dot catch instead? Definitely. There's also an add types feature, which helps you add types if you're writing TypeScript. So what do you think? I think AI is really improving our efficiency and it's another way of learning by doing. I've been using Copilot from day one and never look back. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.